Hello, great people. Welcome to Wonders Without Number. My time has come. Amen. Amen. The hand of God is stretched out to reach out to you today, and God is going to give you a miracle. God is going to give you a surprise. Amen. Amen. Everything about you is going to become new. Amen. I'm believing God today for such an outstanding move of God's spirit in your life. The Bible says in Job 9 verse 10, He doeth things past finding out, yea, wonders without numbers. And I'm telling you the truth. God is about to give you a testimony that will blow your mind. Amen. I told you we have a surprise today. Mama is with me in the studio and we are going to be praying with you. She's here live and direct. And I'm believing God that God is going to be reaching out to every one of us and God is going to bless us as we begin to pray. Amen. Amen. He says, if two shall agree as touching a thing, it shall be done for them by the Father which is in heaven. Sometimes when I go to preach the gospel, Mama will have to stand for me. And, you know, because we don't want to break again. We don't want to have a break. And we've also decided that wherever I am around the world, world that's without number will be held. So that's all you're doing to sacrifice for you so that we don't have a break again. We are not turning men. We are not opening up people to miracles or answers. No, we are opening up people to intimacy with God. God. Intimacy with God. That prayer becomes a part of your life. Prayer becomes a part of your being. Prayer becomes a part of your whole life. The Bible says in Luke chapter 12 and verse 32, it says, Fear not little flocks, for it is your father's goodwill to give you a kingdom. Luke chapter 12 and verse 32. Luke 12 verse 32. Fear not little flocks, for it is your father's goodwill to give you the kingdom. God's plan. In Psalm 84 verse 11, he said, the Lord God, for the Lord God is a shield, is a strength and a shield. It would, the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them them. that walk uprightly. He wants to open doors for you. And the doors God wants to open for you are diverse kind of doors because there are so many kind of doors. We don't just have one door. There are so many kind of doors. That's why it gives us keys of the kingdom. Keys of the kingdom. To open any kind of door. In Hosea chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible says, Multitude upon much in the valley of decision, for the valley of Akko is the door of hope. So there is a door of hope. Hosea 2, 15. There is a door called the door of hope. That's the door of hope that God gives to his people. The Bible says in, Paul was speaking, 1 Corinthians 16, I believe verse 9, he said, an effectual door is open to me, but there are many adversaries. So there are effectual doors. These are doors that are open unto God's people. The Bible says in Acts 14, verse 27, he said, a door of faith open to the Gentiles. So there's a door of faith. There's a door of hope. There's a factual door. There's a door of faith open unto the Gentiles. And don't forget what the Bible says in Psalm 24, verse 9. You lift up your heads, ye everlasting door. There are everlasting doors. There are everlasting doors. So there are different diverse kinds of doors. When Samson was coming out, you know, uh, uh, when he was coming out of uh, the, the city gate, the Bible called there was a door of the city in Judges chapter 16, verse 3. Now, the Bible says there are open doors in, in Revelation 3, verse 8. He said, I know thy works, and I've said before you an open door. So, there are open doors. So, you must understand there are different kinds of doors that God wants to open for you. Right now, touch the like button if you are just watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, share this link. Do that right now. Share as much as you can share. And Mama is here with me. We're going to be joining forces together to pray for you. We're going to join in forces together. And I believe that the kind of miracles you're going to see are going to be mind-blowing. Yeah, man. So touch the, the like button, like the video as we are about to go into the place of prayer. There's a word that God has put in my spirit. That's going to be a blessing to your life. Amen. Be a blessing to all that you concern and connect yourself with. So touch the like button now. When you touch the like button, what you're doing is that you are helping someone. When the video pops up on their phone, it's your contribution to evangelism. It's your contribution. When you are serving God, we don't just serve with our time, with our money, we serve with our strength. So do that. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5. Love the Lord thy God with all thy might. So this is an expression of might. Just touch the like button now. And let it be a blessing to somebody. Then we are going to begin to pray. And I am believing God with you that what God will do for you is going to be mind blowing. Yeah, man. Mm. 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 11. 
it says that I will do a thing in your day that the ears of them that hear it shall tingle. You see, wonders without number is a ministering angel where God gives us opportunity to train ourselves in the act of praying, praying in line with the word of God. The Bible says this is the confidence. First John 5 14. We have that we will pray in line with his word, he heareth us. This is the confidence. When we pray in line with his word, he heareth us. The word of God is the will of God. So when we pray in line with that will of God, God hears us. So we are about to go into the place of prayer and hearing the word of the Lord. And I believe that this season is going to be a turnaround Amen. in the life of somebody. I don't care what you're going through. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Okay? You know, one time Jesus said to the people in John chapter 13, verse 7, He says, You will know hereafter. You may not know now. You will know hereafter. What I do, thou knowest not now. Thou shalt know yet after. What I'm doing in your life, presently you may not understand. Presently you may not even, it may not make sense to you. People will give you all kinds of prescription. People will give you all kinds of alternative prescription outside of God. You know, I read something some time ago. In Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. The message translation really blessed me. The message translation. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 19. The message translation was really a blessing to me. Bring up the message translation. He said, when people tell you, try out fortune tellers. Consult spiritually, the spiritualists. Why not tap into the spirit world and get in touch with the dead? These are people prescribing solutions for you. Consult fortune tellers. Ah, your life is just going down. Oh, please, you have been going to church. Oh, you have been praying. Forget about this. Why don't you try to know why, what is your problem is? To know why you are going through this battle you are going through. Try fortune tellers. Consult spiritualists. Why not tap into the spirit world and get in touch with the dead? Look at verse 20. Verse 20. Verse 20. He said, tell them, no! We are going to study the scripture. Hey! Kalatabaha. Tell them we are going nowhere. A dead end. People who try or the other ways get nowhere. A dead end. He said, when they tell you Ah. When they tell you try spiritualist, try fortune tellers. Tell them we are going to study the scripture. This is my own. This is my own fortune telling. Does it? This is my own fortune telling. This is my own. This is my own divination. This is my own. Say try them. Tell them no. We are studying the scriptures. When I saw this some time ago, I'm like, oh my god. People will come with all kinds of suggestions. That's why I believe nobody moves people to do the wrong thing. Does it? Nobody moves you. Nobody told you to stop going to church. You allow the devil get in your way. Nobody told you to stop praying. And those who break down, those who stop praying, are people were never intimate. Your problems in life should not determine your prayer life. Mm -hmm. Your problem life mm -hmm. should not determine your prayer life. Your problem life. No. You are praying because you love God. You are praying because you are passionate about God. You are not praying because uh, there's something you, are want, you want God to do for you. That's, no, go beyond that level. Your problem life should not determine your prayer life. You are praying because you are passionate about God. You are passionate about what God will do for you. That's why you are praying. So, when you have that understanding and you have that knowledge and that foresight, that insight, you pray with passion. I've seen a lot of things happen in my life, in my ministry. It has never one day altered my prayer life because i've never been following the lord because of what he can get because of what he can do because mm. what he can give to me mm. and that's why i tell people all the time i've never got that money to buy anything if money comes to mind today i'm thinking of the next crusade everything the lord has given to me that is huge and major is people he touched to do it because you know leave left for me if it brings the money in my hand i'm thinking of soul winning so he uses people to say no 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 take this no 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 have this because personally i'm not going to do that i'm going to think of helping people i'm going to think of helping people i'm going to think of being a blessing to people so it's very important that you understand that the bible is complete your hope is in god don't let nothing move you amos 9 13 to 15 if you bring the message translation amos 9 verse 13 to verse 15 Amos 9, 13 to 15. Bring the message translation. Kola Brata Saka. He said, Yes, indeed, it won't be long now. 
I'm making a declaration. Yes, it did. It will be long now. Yes. Yes. Amen. He said, God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast that your head will swim. Yes. Amen. Ah, things are going to happen so fast that your head will swim. Yes. Amen. Amen. One thing fast on the heels of the other. Amen. Amen. You will be able to keep up. Amen. Amen. Every will be happening at once. Amen. Everywhere you look, blessed. Amen. Blessing like wine. Amen. The water of the mountain. Amen. And the hills. Gabarata. Everywhere you turn to. Every, hey, hey. Everywhere you turn to, things will happen for you. Amen. It will be happening at once. Amen. Everywhere you look, blessing. Amen. Your right blessing. Amen. Left blessing. Amen. Look at verse 14. You see, I will make everything right again for my people. Mm. Amen. Amen. They will rebuild their ruined cities. Amen. They will plant vineyard and drink good wine. Amen. Amen. They will walk garden and eat fresh vegetables. Amen. Amen. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I will plant them. Amen. Plant them in their own land. Amen. They will never be uprooted again from the land I've given them. Amen. God, your God, say so. 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 Amen. Ah. Ah. Hmm. You see, that is what God wants you to hold on to. When they, they divine, they come to you with divinations and suggestions for divination. Tell them, I will study the scripture. I will check what God has done in the past as a point of what he can do in my life. We're going to consider the word of the Lord today. And I'm believing God for a turn around in your life. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to just go ahead right now if you're online. Touch the like button. Smash that button now. Touch it. As we continue. Touch it. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Amen. We love you. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Worship is holy name. Oh, sing like never before. Oh, my soul. Worship is holy name. And bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul, oh my soul, worship is only name. Sing like never before. Oh my soul, worship is only Line. Oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship is only name. Oh, sing like never before. Oh, my soul, worship is only name. Oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, oh, my soul, worship is only name. Before sing like never before, oh my soul, worship is only name. Oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. 
worship is all we need. Sing like never before. Sing like never before. Oh my soul, worship is all we need. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. At the center of it all is you that I see. It's you that I see. At the middle, at the center of it all. It's you that I see There is power in your name There is power in your name Miracles happen in your name Miracles happen in your name As we lift our hands in praise as we lift our voice in praise, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. There is power in your name, there is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name, miracles happen in your name. As we lift our voice in praise, as we lift our voice in praise, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. And I bless your name. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Right. In Luke chapter 5. If you read verse 6, verse 6 of Luke chapter 5, the Bible says, Luke chapter 5. Okay, the Bible says, when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their nets break. You will bring up something in message, bring it up again. They enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. Okay, it was no sooner than this done, a huge haul of fish straining the nets past capacity. Go back to KJV. Straining the nets past capacity. We are going to ask God to give us a net breaking testimony. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, man. You know what a net breaking testimony is? Now, the Bible says that they got a multitude of fishes and their nets break. In English language, that's called a grammatical somersault. That does not sound correct in English. Because a net is not supposed to break. A net is not a breakable item. It's made from leather, so it's not supposed to break. A net is made from a piece of cloth. The right word should have been that their net began to tear. But you know something about God, that God does not make mistakes? God is not educated. God is education. Mm. God did not go to school. God is an institution himself. Mm. So God cannot be wrong. The Bible says they enclosed the multitude of fishes and their net began to break. The right word there and what God was trying to emphasize to us is that their net began to break record. Mm. That net broke record because that net passed its capacity. It carried a number of fishes that has not been carried before. Their net began to break record. Peter, prior to this time, had been fishing. And Peter was fishing. Peter's brother also was fishing. In those days, fishing is something that is hereditary. If you remember James and John, James and John, if you remember the Bible says that there were two sheep. Jesus picked one. One belonged to James and John. It was actually those people he called to come help him when his boat was sinking. And don't forget, the Bible says James and John were with their father Zebedee. I think Matthew is in Matthew 4 now. They were with their father Zebedee when Jesus called them. They were with their father Zebedee by the sheep. So their father handed over sheep into them. So let's believe Peter's father must have also handed to him. 
So it was in the lineage. Peter was a professional fisherman and was a successful fisherman. Because the Bible said he had sheep. He had sheep. So for you to be so successful in fishing that you have not bought your own sheep from it, it means he was doing well. But all of a sudden that day, he was stranded. And there were four things that were playing the mind of Peter. Okay, look at that. Matthew 4, 21, God sent the sons of Zebedee. And, and going on from there, he saw two other brethren, James and John, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Most jobs or most professions in the days of scripture were hereditary. Father hands over to child. Son continues the legacy of the father. That's why sometimes they will call Jesus the carpenter. Not because he was actually a carpenter. The father was a carpenter. This, the father handed over to him, so he must have practiced that act. And that was why when they nailed him on the cross, he wasn't surprised because he was used to wood. <sighs> when they nailed, nailed him on the cross, they were pressing nails on his hand. They said, what is wrong with these guys? I'm used to wood. So some of the things we go through in life, God actually prepares us for it. The Bible says that they caught fishes and their net began to break. Four things you have in the mind of Peter. The first was the fear of the future. If at this point now, I'm already failing, do I have a future? Why do you need a net breaking testimony to arrest the future? Do you know that was the last time, apart from when Jesus left them, when Peter said, I go fishing. This was the last time Peter ever went fishing. Because what he got that day, there is a breakthrough. There's an open door that God can give to you that can sustain you for life. There's an open door. There's a contact. You will get a net breaking testimony. Amen. Amen. There is a contact God can give to you that can sustain you for life. Can handle the future. Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the talk that I think towards you, say the Lord. Thought of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. There's an open door that God can give to you that for the rest of your entire natural life will sustain you. It's called a net breaking okay. testimony. Mm. A testimony that you tell people and they try to process it. Have you seen a testimony you tell people? They sit down, they try to start processing to say, um, you know, how, how? A testimony that's mind blowing. A testimony that you have had people, one that's without number, say, it doesn't happen in this country. Mm. This thing does not happen in this country. This thing does not happen in this nation. Some will say, our people in our country don't make mistakes. They can't wrongly credit you. They can't wrongly send you money. It doesn't happen here. You hear them say that in America. You hear them say that in Europe. You hear them say that in UK. You hear them say that in the Middle East. They said, our people don't make mistakes. It can't happen here. They can't wrongly credit you. That tells you the kind of thing God is doing. So there was the fear of the future. The Bible said Peter was washing his net. One second reason why Peter was washing his net. He was feeling like a failure. You need a net breaking testimony to kill that feeling of a failure. <sighs> there are people that feeling overwhelms them. Either because they are not married. Either because they don't have children. Either because they don't have money. Either because they don't have sound health. There's this failure like feeling. They feel they have failed themselves. They feel, especially when there are people who have been following the Lord for a while. They feel they have failed themselves. They feel they missed it at some point. They feel there's something wrong they did. They feel there's something wrong they did. So, when you have that feeling, what you need to handle it is a net breaking testimony. testimony. Why do you need a net breaking testimony? You need a net breaking testimony to cancel, to, to cancel and erase the years of delay. Peter, the Bible says, he said to Jesus, we have toyed all night. There's a testimony that God will give to you that he cancels all your waiting. All of a sudden, waiting is cancelled. Mm. We have toyed all night and taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. So what God wants to do by giving you a miracle, by giving you a testimony, he says, and when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude. 
of fishes, their net began to break. That fear, that feeling of a failure, you are not a failure. Mm. That's what I've come to tell you today. Whatever time zone it is, whether you are morning where you are, evening where you are, night where you are, you are not a failure. Amen. Amen. You are not a failure. Amen. Amen. The first reason why God needs to give you a net breaking testimony is to eradicate poverty. Peter was living empty. He said, he said, verse 5, we have toyed all night and taken nothing. Not we have toyed all the night. All the night. We have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word. Poverty is a bad advertisement for Christianity. Mm. Poverty is a bad advertisement of your faith. The destruction of the poor man is not the witch in his village. The destruction of the poor man is not what's happening around him. The destruction of the poor is his poverty. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 15. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. Poverty is not a good advertisement. God loves poor people, but God does not love poverty. God loves the poor. If you are a poor person, God loves you. If you are a poor person, Jesus died for you. If you are a poor person, the scripture is for you. But the poverty, God doesn't love it. Because poverty is not divine. No, it's not divine. God wants you to be blessed. Not just blessed materially. No. Material blessing is only a dimension of blessing. The first form of blessing is spiritual blessing in heavenly places. The first, best form of blessing is to be born again. When you are born again, that's the greatest form of wealth. That's the greatest form of prosperity. When you are born again, that's the greatest form of blessing. Then you now get direction. You now get, you know, marriage. You, before you now talk of financial blessings and all of that. So God wants you to get into that realm. And that's why I'm going to pray today. Oh Lord, you are able. Give me a net breaking testimony. Amen. Amen. You will type that now on your handle. I receive net breaking favor. Amen. Amen. I receive net breaking favor. Amen. You will type that on your handle and you hashtag one that's without number. I receive net breaking favor. Amen. I receive net breaking favor. Amen. You're going to say that seven times with me right here. And as we say it here in the studio, you say it also wherever you are. I receive net breaking favor. Amen. For seven times you're going to say it. And after that, we're going to pray for net breaking testimony. I receive net breaking favor. Amen. 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 Number one. I receive net breaking favor. Number two. I receive net breaking favor. Number three. I receive net breaking favor. Number four. I receive net breaking favor. Number five. I receive my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, I begin to pray. I receive net breaking testimony. I begin to pray. I receive net breaking testimony. I receive net breaking testimony. I receive net breaking testimony. Oh, my God. 
taking a second prayer and when they 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 had this done they included a great multitude of fishes and their net break they life is already too hard for you to add a wrong person on your journey mm. 
Life is already tedious enough for you to meet wrong people and comfortably complicate your life. Then, I'm going to tell the Lord, plant around me the right people. Yeah. Yeah. Life is already too complicated to furtherly complicate it by having a complicated person and make your destiny complicated. Life is already too hard than for adding somebody else who will give you problems. You don't need all of that. There are people that cannot change. Not because God cannot change them, but they are not willing to let God change them. Leave them and move on. Mm -hmm. Not because God cannot change them. They are not willing to let God change them. They are not willing. You can't be praying for somebody who is not willing. That's why somebody will spend 10 years praying for somebody to change. He is not ready to change and that's not how God works. There are people who are not ready to change. You can't be praying for them to change because God's not going to force his way. He says, I stand at the door and knock if any man opens up. Plant around me the right people. Peter, the right team. That was why that net breaking testimony was manifested and even sustained. Plant around me. The Bible says in Proverbs 28, 19. Proverbs 28, 19. That he that followeth, he that followeth after vain persons shall have poverty enough. He that tilleth his land shall have plenty of bread. They that follow it after being persons shall poverty enough. In Proverbs 13, verse 20, the Bible says that walketh with the wise shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. In Genesis 39, verse 5, the Bible says, God bless the Egyptian for Joseph's sake. When the right person is in your life, God bless you because of them. Hmm. Look at what God said to, to Isaac in Genesis 26, 24, that I will bless you for Abraham, thy father's sake. Around me, the right people. Amen. All of this experience you are having is because of the wrong people around you. Let the wind blow them away. Yeah. Yeah. Let the wind, let the wild wind blow them away. Yeah. Yeah. Like chaff, let them go before the wind. Yeah. 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 Like wax melt before the fire. Let them melt in the presence of God. Yeah. 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 Plant around me the right people. Yeah. 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 In my office, in my home, Amen. in my business, yeah. 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 if you're a preacher, yeah. in yeah. your church. Yeah. 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 Plant around me the right people. Yeah. Yeah. You, see, you see, when you're a pastor, God needs to give you the right people around your work. The right people. The right people. Say, my father, my father. My my father, father, father. father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. Plant, 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 around, me, plant, plant, plant around me. Position of the right people. Plant around me. Position of the right people. The right people. Let the fire 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mama is going to pray first. And then I will pray with you. Thank you, Jesus. Our God doeth things past finding out. Ye wonders without number. I bless you this day. Amen. And I decree upon your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, God will show himself strong and mighty in your life. Amen. God will show himself strong and mighty in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, thank you for your word in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Says, for it is written, I had not seen nor he has heard, neither entry into the heart of men what the Lord has prepared. For them that love him. I pray for you this day. Amen. New things will begin to happen in your life. Amen. Greater things will begin to happen in your life. Amen. I see a new you emerging in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
where others are failing you will step in and begin to succeed Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. Father thank you for your word in Psalm 46 verse 1 the Lord is our refuge and our strength a very present help in trouble my father we depend on you this day thank you for the miracles the testimonies on this platform and we are asking that on a daily basis we will continue to see the manifestation of your power Amen. in our lives and families Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. and I agree with Papa today this day anyone that the Lord that the enemy has connected and programmed into your life as a snare as an agent of the devil the wind of the Lord will blow them out of your life Amen. The wind of the Lord will blow them out of your life. Yeah, May the Lord disconnect you from wrong and evil people. Yeah, In the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, this day I speak the blessings of the Lord upon your life. Yeah, and I decree in the name of Jesus you are blessed. Yeah, I decree in the name of Jesus you are blessed. Yeah, I decree in the name of Jesus you are blessed. Yeah, In Jesus mighty name. Yeah, Right now, connect your faith to my faith. I connect. By the power that created the heavens and the earth, that sustains the heaven from the earth without a pillar, the God that laid the beams of his chambers upon the water, walks upon the wing of the wind as a shadow, stretched from the heavens as a curtain, sit on the circles of the earth, and the source of men as grasshoppers, covered himself with light as with a garment. I decree. I receive it. Today, a net breaking testimony manifest in your life. Yeah. Yeah. A net breaking, shocking, heavy testimony manifest in your life. Yeah. Yeah. A testimony people we need days to process. Yeah. Yeah. A testimony people we have to go to Google, go to dictionary to confirm. Yeah. Yeah. A testimony people we have to consult other professionals to ask questions. Yeah. 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 A testimony that will blow the mindset of people yeah. manifest in your life. Yeah. I decree. There's somebody you deal on jewelries and you were robbed. You're more like duped. You were duped. This money that was sent and you stopped hearing from the people for a long time and you've even forgotten about it. You deal on jewelries. The Lord is as you tell you. That money may be lost, but it's not gone. Amen. Those who took your money is.